Assume that you are the world's most powerful individual. You are in charge of millions of people. Therefore, you are free to act any way you like. War, disease and betrayal are among the many hazards you must deal with. How would you handle a life like that? Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor who lived approximately 2,000 years ago, and this was his reality. Additionally, he adhered to the ancient philosophy of Stoicism, which teaches us how to live effectively in any circumstance. By focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot, Stoicism assists us. We'll look at how to incorporate Stoicism into your daily life in this video, along with how it can increase your resilience and happiness. What is life's most significant aspect? Is it cash, notoriety, strength, or contentment? The answer was straightforward for the ancient philosophers known as the Stoics, virtue. Virtue entails acting morally and virtuously, as well as living in accordance with reason and nature. But in a world full of distractions, temptations and problems, how can we attain virtue? The basic idea that governed the Stoics was to concentrate on one's own thoughts and deeds, rather than worrying about what other people were doing or what was going on in the world. Although this idea seems straightforward, it is not always easy to implement. It necessitates ongoing self-awareness, self-control and self-development. It also calls for temperance, justice, courage and wisdom. These four Stoic cardinal qualities enable us to behave morally and logically in any circumstance. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most well-known Stoics, would have easily let his wealth and influence to corrupt him or allowed his obligations and troubles to overwhelm him. But he prevented that from occurring. By keeping a journal, reflecting on his values and acting on them, he lived a Stoic life every day. You have power over your mind, not outside events, the author wrote. When you acknowledge this, you'll find resilience. He additionally remarked, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. He realized that while there were things in his environment that he could not control, he could influence how he responded to them. Rather than dwelling on his limitations, he concentrated on his abilities. He concentrated on what he could control rather than what he could not. How do you determine what is under your control and what is not? A basic guideline is provided by Stoicism. You have power over your own responses and mindset, but not over the deeds of others or the course of nature. For instance, although you have no control over the weather, you do have power over how you dress for it. Although you have no control over what people say to you, you do have power over how you react to them. Why does this distinction matter? Since it spares you from squandering your mental and emotional resources on things that are out of your grasp, you can work on bettering yourself and your decisions rather than being upset, annoyed or anxious over things you are unable to alter. Happier living and a tranquil mind follow from this. What is your morning routine? Do you quickly get ready, check your phone or watch the news? These behaviors may cause you to get agitated and disoriented. Try this instead. Before you do anything else, stop and think about your goals and your approach to overcoming obstacles. You can use this to clarify your goals and be ready for the day. Mindfulness was another practice of the Stoics. Being aware of your actions and motivations is a sign of mindfulness. It also entails being conscious of your ideas and feelings without allowing them to rule you. Try to remain mindful of your activities and make sure they are consistent with your ideals throughout the day. For instance, don't lie or cheat if honesty is important to you. Be pleasant and courteous instead than harsh or unkind. You'll feel better about yourself and avoid regret and guilt if you practice mindfulness. A magnificent emperor, Marcus Aurelius, had numerous difficulties. In addition to betrayals from his own family, he had to contend with wars and epidemics. But he never lost hope or composure. He adopted the Stoic method of thinking, which enabled him to accept the things that were beyond his control and concentrate on his own efforts. Marcus has lessons you can learn to help you become more resilient. Being Stoic is learning to see things for what they are, not for what you wish they were. It supports you in managing your tension, rage and terror. It demonstrates how to live in balance with both other people and yourself. 
What daily stoicism practices may you engage in? Let's investigate. Thinking back on your day is one of the best ways to apply stoicism to your learning. Before you turn in for the night, ask yourself the following questions. What did I do well today? What did I not accomplish well? How can I do better tomorrow? This will assist you in determining your personal growth goals and areas of strength and weakness. Being stoic is a lifelong endeavor rather than a quick cure. It is not something you can learn in a day or even a year. You must continue to practice it in all circumstances, every day. Recall the words of Marcus Aurelius. Dancing is not as much like the art of living as it is like wrestling. You must be prepared to meet obstacles head on and act bravely and sensibly to overcome them. You now know a great deal about stoicism and how it may support you in taking care of yourself and overcoming obstacles. But how can you integrate it into your day-to-day -day activities? Let's review the key ideas and examine how you might put them into practice each day. 1. Keep in mind that the foundation of Stoicism is the notion that your ideas, deeds and reactions are entirely within your control. You have no control over anything else, so stop worrying about it. You can become anxiety, anger and frustration free by doing this. 2. Develop self-focus by observing your inner condition and bringing it into line with morality and reason. Keep your head clear and don't let the outside world or other people's viewpoints get in the way. Rather, concentrate on how you may better yourself and advance society. 3. Become resilient by overcoming obstacles with bravery and discernment. Take a cue from Marcus Aurelius, who endured numerous challenges while ruling as emperor, but never lost his composure or dignity. He reflected on his struggles and reminded himself of stoic ideas in his journal. Finally, reflect on your day and evaluate your progress by doing some reflective tasks. Ask yourself what went well, what went wrong, and what you can improve on the following day every evening. You will become a better stoic and person as a result of this. Like Marcus Aurelius, you too may embrace stoicism as a way of life and reap its rewards by following these steps. You can develop self-awareness and have a peaceful, resilient existence with only a little daily practice. We're attempting something novel and thrilling, fellow Stoics. You get to pick the subject for our upcoming Stoicism video. This is how it operates. Leave a comment below with a query or topic you'd like to see addressed in relation to Stoicism. Look over the recommendations and select the ones that pique your interest. Our next video will center around the comment that has received the most likes. This is your opportunity to lead us on our stoic adventure. I'm eager to read your recommendations and learn more about the subject you've selected. It's time to push yourself now that you understand the basic stoic ideas and how to use them every day. Put this into practice every day. Don't just watch it and then forget about it. Concentrate on the things you can manage and let go of the things you cannot. Observe how it affects your life, relationships and mood. Although difficult, this is worthwhile. And never forget that you are not traveling alone. You have Marcus Aurelius's example to inspire you and the wisdom of the Stoics to guide you. Despite facing numerous obstacles, he remained cool and morally upright. In his meditations, he stated that you are in control of your thoughts, not external circumstances. When you acknowledge this, you'll find resilience. I hope these words and you yourself will give you strength until the next time. Give us a thumbs up if you want to help us reach more individuals who are looking for old wisdom. If you're new, click the notification bell and subscribe to receive future courses on proverbial wisdom. Thank you very much for viewing. And never forget that letting go of the things you cannot control and concentrating on the things you can is the secret to living a happy life.